How's that look? So what I am going to talk to you guys about is something that has been the key to what I feel like has been my success in 2021. Um, I am a uh, QA analyst for surgical care affiliates. I'm contracted right now. Um, and I started from a code camp myself, um, which Kimberly helped out with. And it was, um, it was quite the challenge. Um, I was coming in from marketing and promotions and going into tech was a huge jump for me. Um, so, uh, I wanted to share some things, a practice that I've recently, um, over the past few months, um, taken up. And I feel like this has really, um, it's really been one of the major keys to my success and to my ability to be able to keep moving forward in all of this. And that's um, growing a garden of gratitude. Um, so what I find and what I have found recently is um, in trying times and in times that it's um, it's really hard to kind of work yourself through the fog. It's sometimes the hardest the hardest time is uh, the hardest time to find gratitude. Um, so my practice recently has been in the challenges of becoming um, a QA analyst, going from um, no technical background to working for a company who. Um, I work for a great dev team, um, and I've been learning a lot over the past couple of years. And in that, I've, I've run into a lot of um, hurdles. And um, so I wanted to share with you guys some of the practices that I have in being able to find gratitude in hard situations and in hard times. Um, so one of those is um, when I wake up. So I like to ask um, what's something that I'm grateful for that could easily be taken for granted because so many things in our lives, um, we think that they're just there. And, um, and it's easy to just forget that these things aren't necessarily just granted in our lives. So um, it's, that's a good question that I like to ask. Um, my next one has been one that's been very difficult for me to change my mindset in this space. But when I'm in conflict, I like to ask, um, what's one thing in this conflict that I can find to be grateful for? What am I learning here? How am I growing here? Um, what, is, uh, what is something in this conflict that's helping me to actually gain a connection with the person that I'm in conflict with? Things like that. Um, when I uh, have been hurt. So how is this situation a gift that may be wrapped up as a pain or a punishment? Um, that's one question that has been part of a gratitude practice that I've had for the past few weeks with, um, with one of my soul sisters. Uh, thank goodness. We, um, we have a practice where we get together and we ask ourselves, um, what's something that we may be taking for granted and what is a, uh, a a gift that may have been wrapped up as pain or punishment and um and being able to change uh the framing of how i think about things and trying to find gratitude and things has really helped me to keep moving forward in really tough positions and times it helps me to find the things that you know i can um hold on to in my foundation so um, another one is when you check in on the current moment. So what's going on right now? Um, a lot of us find a lot of anxiety in thinking about the future or thinking about the past. And it's real easy to get wrapped up in, you know, ha having a hard time finding things to be grateful when you're only stuck in the past or the, or the future. So if you can check in on the current moment and say, what around me, what's something around me that I can be grateful for right now? And then um, finally, when you go to bed, when you lay down, and I know everyone else is probably just like me and all of the thoughts going through your mind of the day and what you could have done better, or um, instead of those thoughts of anxiety and all the things you could have or should have done, 
Um, instead, try to frame it as um, what's something that I experienced today that I can be grateful for? What's a way that I've grown today? What's, a, what's one of my wins rather than what are all the many ways that I've um, not been perfect today? And in that, you can actually start to collect. Um, I know everyone's known a person that um, that just focuses on all the bad stuff in their life, and it just seems like more bad stuff happens. But when you can focus on the gratitude and the even in the struggle, then you tend to attract more things to be grateful for. Um, so. Another question that I um, that I have struggled with is what if I'm struggling to find something to be grateful for right now? Um, and like I said, one thing is to check in right in your current moment right now, um, because if you can bring yourself out of the future or out of the past or wherever you're worrying at, you can really look around you and find things to be blessed by. Um, so a few questions that I like to ask myself when I'm really having a hard time finding things to be grateful for. So I ask, um, how have I experienced grace or love today? Um, how have I experienced opportunity or blessings today? Um, it's easy to take the things like our, our jobs or the things that we have to do um, as things that we have to do rather than opportunities to keep growing for ourselves. And when we can reframe that, kind of makes it a little easier. Um, what's a personal strength or a gift that I possess that's unique or incredibly useful for my own growth? And when I can really um, ask myself those questions, I can step into the gratitude and I can step into that mindset to where I can begin to reframe that thought process. Um, Here's some fun ways that I like to give myself gratitude bonus points. Uh, my favorite is journaling. Um, when I uh, ask myself those questions, I like to ask myself those questions and write it down. Um, if you ask yourself that question enough times, the first time you ask the question, it's easy to find the things that you're grateful for. But when you keep coming back to the question and you keep asking yourself the question, you can really dive into parts of your life that you didn't think about before that you can actually be grateful for and rather than you know, letting it go to the wayside. Um, self-reflection is a big one and radical self-acceptance, um, helping others find gratitude. Um, when you share your gratitude towards other people, it gives them permission to also share their gratitude. Um, there's lots of ways that you can um, share your gratitude, show your gratitude, practice gratitude. Um, so that's my, that's the thing that I feel like I've been successful in 2021. Um, I've had a lot of really great successes professionally. And I think that I can attribute that to always looking for something to be grateful for so that I'm actually attracting things to be grateful for in my life. Um, and then one other thing that I am grateful for is you guys, the Techlahoma community. Um, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for all of you and for um, the spirit of this community that's just astounding. It's, it's incredible. So um, thank you. And here's my information if any of you want to get in contact with me.